All right, welcome back. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, I had to go get some pretzels. Y'all think AJ going to show up? Last time, he did come out last for the uh, post-fight press conference. But yeah, we're going to go back and recap that after um, the press conference. We're going to go back and watch that bizarre, bizarre clip. You know, that was some shit right there. Like, you know, my man was, my man had a little bit of an episode, but it's okay to be pissed. You know, and in this day and age, I'm not going to be like, oh, man, he's having some mental health issues. He needs to go get some help. Robbie, where are you going? Hold on, my bad. My bad. Let me get that out of here. I need that yes, thumbnail. Ravi, Ravi, is anybody going to introduce who is the uh, man is here or uh, what's going to be? Is anybody going to be MC? Do we have an MC to introduce? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Is? So, uh, yeah, what's up with that? Here we are with the unified, just fresh, defended titles. Heavyweight Alexander Usyk. Please greet him. Give him a round of applause. I think this kind of press conference uh, should be more about questions rather than any kind of statements. So, uh, as long as we saw, Alex has made his statement in the ring, especially in the round number 10. So, uh, I'm not sure who is conducting the... Yes, right if here. If, if there's no one here, so... Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Alexander, congratulations. Can you just talk us through how that fight was different to September, please? Uh, One judge scored it in favor of Anthony Joshua. That's the difference between the first fight and the second. Тим іншим відрізняється, що цей цей поєдинок, який відбувався годину назад, this fight that was taking place just one uh, hour ago, він дуже важливий був для моєї країни. It was extremely important for my country. Для моєї команди. For my team. І особисто для мене. And personally for me. Тому що я боксував за всю країну. Because I did box for the whole country. Why is it so dark in there? Let me try to brighten it up. Він відрізнявся тим, що незважаючи на те, що я можу контролювати свої емоції, я трошечки, але переживав. I'm gonna try to brighten it up for you guys. In spite of my ability to control the emotions let's see here i was worrying a bit here we go especially in the round oh no that ain't gonna work that looks bad but that was a uh, surprising element uh, that's the best i can do anthony в той час коли був восьмий раунд він подумав що він вже виграв я це побачив його в глазах може такого і не було я не знаю I'm not yeah, sure I'll turn it right up. Hold not, on. But uh, I saw in round number eight, I saw in AJ's eyes that he was feeling victorious already. Але я повторював собі, ти не можеш зупинитися. Ти не можеш зупинитися. Very unorganized. I'm telling myself, you can not stop. You can't stop. You yep. cannot stop. Доволі багато стояло на кону. How's that? Uh, some uh, big things were at stake. І слава Богу, перемога є. Пояси їдуть в Україну. Україна переможе. And thanks God. Uh, the belts are coming back to Ukraine. The victory is with us and Ukraine won. All right, second question here. Alexander, congratulations. Sorry, 
Sorry, second question here. Alexander, congratulations. Antoine Allen from ITV News. In terms of coming into this fight, people said that if AJ was able to use his size, that he'd be able to defeat you. Obviously, in round nine, he did use his size, but you remained on your feet and you go home to Ukraine with the belt. So does that make today's victory a little bit sweeter because every strategy that they threw at you, you were able to still be victorious? So the reason why belt uh, coming back to Ukraine is that Anthony Joshua didn't use his size advantage to the end. Не розміри важливі, коли ти боксуєш чи це справжня війна була в ринзі. Size doesn't matter when you are fighting. That was a real war, genuine war in the ring. І розміри тут ні до чого. And the size is uh, not that uh, important. Я думаю, тут працює дух. This is where the real spirit works. Sasha, colleagues, uh, I hold the flag signed by uh, our soldiers, our fighters, who, who was at uh, Severodonetsk, Lysychansk. They signed warmest wishes to you and uh, wishes to the victory. You on the ring and ours at the battlefield. Thank you so much. Glory to Ukraine. Uh, and everything gonna be Ukraine. It's from Battalion 205. Kazakhskomu rodu nema перевoду. Slava Ukraini. Heroem slav. You think Joshua gonna show up? He did try to walk out of his um his interview post fight through the belts outside of the ring. Bizarre rant. We're gonna to listen to all of that. But I'm looking for the official scorecard. That's what I'm doing in the background. So we can see what rounds were scored by who and for what. Alexander. Uh, and I'm eating pretzels. Joshua had quite a bit Radio Raheem owes me $150 in the ring after the fight. How did that make you feel and what do you say in response to what Joshua had to say after the fight in the ring? I'm not even joking. Raheem and Dave Chappelle owe me $150. I did a podcast with them. They never paid me. I didn't feel much at that time uh, when he was a bit frustrated. Uh, just common emotions. Uh, it's all good. Uh, we need to just communicate a little bit. No, I mean what he said in the ring, not during the fight, but after the fight. Joshua said a said a lot to Usyk and to the crowd about Usyk and, the, and Usyk's victory. I'm asking for his response to that. You want his response to that? To, yes, yes. Ah, yes. okay. Not even joking. Back in 2018, me, uh, Dave Chappelle, and Radio Raheem did a podcast that was never released. It was about, um, it was a pilot for a podcast that they were doing. It never got released though. I have it. I have the original audio, but they made me um, sign an agreement, but I think the agreement is null and void if they haven't paid me. Right. So I should release that shit. I did a podcast with Dave Chappelle. The good things that he said about me is something that uh, I accept but I don't like uh, accept it too deep to my heart because I want to stay a humble person. Uh, I don't want my pride inside to grow bigger. That's uh, 
something like that. So uh, I don't believe in uh, good words. You have a question? But я не хочу бути гордим. Я хочу бути смиренним. Я над цим працюю. Гординя вбиває. Хто себе превищує, того Господь знизить, а хто себе знижає, того Господь вверх. The one who brings himself up, the Lord will come down. The one who stays down, the Lord will bring him up. Що ти думаєш про Джошуа як про Чоловіка. У мене до нього повага. Ну, я поважаю цю людину, але він трошки сьогодні на емоціях. Я так трошки бачив, що він там кидався на когось з моєї команди. Якщо він, хоче, ну, якщо він хотів ще на кулаках побитися, то я йому це 100% не советую робити. Тому що у мене половина команди – це стрітфайтери. Я не відчуваю нічого, але респекту Антоні Джошуа. Я бачив його трохи емоційно, і я бачив його, як булінг кількість моїх моїх Uh, teammates and that would look like a bare knuckle fight but that's uh, I don't recommend him to do because uh, most of them are horrible street fighters от я маю там 20 поєдинків на даний момент у мене деякі хлопці мають 25 поєдинків але на вулиці 25 боїв 25 нокаутів вони всі 25 виграли I have 20 boats 20 wins at the moment some of my guys have 25 And 25 right, wins, snack. by the way, of knockout. We're back. I've been sitting here since 1 p.m. Hello. It's 8. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm from Arab News. A very hearty congratulations to Uzbek. And my question for him is, since everyone thought AJ is going to win, and he himself believed that, do you think that he was with very desperate to win would be a disadvantage value for his defeat. You think AJ going to show up to the post fight presser? One more time, please. I'm sorry. Uh, everyone thought AJ was going to win. Uh -huh. And he himself believed it. He was very sure that he was going to win this rematch. But do you think because he was so desperate to win would be a, like one of the reasons for his defeat? I'm sorry, but not everyone was thinking Joshua going to win. Most of them, not all I would say probably 50-50, maybe even 60-40 to Alexander. Uh, yes. Yeah, got a long night ahead. I'm on the, the Showtime card zone in the background. UFC is on my upper screen. And I guess I need to open a top ring card on my iPad. The Lord himself Uh, the team that is with me and my trainings, that's what helped me to get the victory. Lucy clearly won. Even Eddie Hearn did it. We're going to listen to all of it. Over here. Um, Tyson Fury's post on Instagram saying that that fight was where Alex just said it there, shite. Um, and he beat you guys both in one night. What's your response back to that? Тайсон Фьюрі сказав, написав в Твіттері, що поєдинок таке собі, що він поб'є вас обох за один вечір. Що б ти йому відповів на це? В нього то йому сниться кожен день. That's what he's dreaming every day. Поб'є. Знаєте, що він поб'є? Дупу він свою поб'є. He's gonna beat his ass. Right, we've got one more question from Antoine. Um, Antoine, I'd like to news again. Alexander, after the first victory you had against AJ in Tottenham, I asked you what you wanted to do next, and you spoke about spending time with your family <coughs> and taking your children to school. Obviously, Ukraine has changed. So, what is waiting your for AJ to show up? your future? What? If he's going to show up, then we're going to recap everything. I'm going to play the Tyson Fury clip. We're going to replay um, Joshua's speech and him throwing the belts out the ring. Jeez, dude. Did not take that loss well. My future my country, we will win. The future of my country is we're gonna win. І будемо 
економічно на дуже високому рівні. The economy will grow considerably. До нас буде приїжджати багато туристів, туристів, тому що наша країна дуже багата історією. Багато людей в світі вже бачать, е- колись вони знали Україну за які спортсменам: Клічко, Шевченко, Усик, Ломаченко. Many people in the world knew Ukraine because of the athletes like Klitschko brothers, like uh, Andriy Shevchenko. Thank you for watching the stream with me earlier. We uh, crossed 100,000 views for the yes. fight stream. Зараз наш Україну весь світ знає як ту, яка захищає свою країну від другої армії світу. Now the whole world knows Ukraine as the country that is defending itself from the second army second biggest army in the world also please uh like the video and subscribe and we stand strong and we give them a lot back я просто хочу сказати що деякі люди в світі вони недооцінюють когось Відчиніть, відчиніть очі, що відбувається в світі. Просто відчиніть і подивіться, що відбувається в світі зараз на території України. I want to say that some people in the world are underestimating what's going on. I want to appeal to everyone, open your eyes and see clearly what is really going on in Ukraine. Right, Тому що українці, українці вони не здаються, вони до кінця. Вони будуть йти до кінця, і вони переможуть. Ми переможемо. Це просто треба трошки часу на це і все. Ukrainians never give up. They always go to the end. They always win. We're gonna definitely win. We just need a little more time. А там щось там. Two more questions. Alexander Congratulations on another phenomenal performance and more proof that Ukrainians never give up. It was quite remarkable. I think with my old ears, I heard you say that the only fight you would now take would be Tyson Fury for the undisputed championship. Is that correct, that you might not even fight again if you don't get that fight? (coughs) Usyk is the man. Sorry, the question is whether he wants to fight Tyson Fury or... The question is, I think I heard him say in the ring that he, the only fight he would want would be Tyson Fury. Okay, he might not fight again if he doesn't get that. Okay. Uh, uh, Йдуть uh, до перемоги до кінця. Мені здається, в рингу ти сказав, що або ти будеш битися з Тайсоном Ф'юрі, або не будеш битися взагалі. Так, я так сказав. Yes, that's true. That's what I said in the ring. Okay, we've got one more last question. Uh, uh, Alexander, um, Vladimir Putin likes to talk about being a black belt in judo and riding his horse topless, but you're now the baddest man on the planet. Is that a pretty cool thing and is that great for your for your compatriots and your soldiers to see. Uh, excuse me, C- can you please speak a little louder because I can't hear you well. Vladimir Putin likes to talk about his judo black belt riding his horse topless and being a macho man. He's the baddest man on the planet. How does that feel and can that inspire your soldiers and your people? Vladimir Putin likes to talk about his judo black belt and torso і строїти з себе мачо. Але ти найкращий козак на світі. Як тобі от так надихати людей? Добре надихати людей. Він, він це все робить. Він показує, що він, що він сильний, і що він моцний, і що він красивий. Насправді він не такий. Це все обман. Він показує, що він сильний, але він слабкий. Він показує, який він, але він дуже слабкий. Uh, everything he shows is, ju- is just to show that he's strong, but he's not. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't do that. Wouldn't, wouldn't show how how strong, how big he is. Uh, in reality, he's uh, very weak. And with that, we conclude the press conference. Thank you very much, everyone, for attending. Congratulations, Alexander Usyk. And the steel. No, 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 no. You see, we still need to do vada. We still need to do vada. Look, it's, a, it's a almost. Okay. Hugen just got sent to hell, tried to get that exclusive. And as you heard, uh, Usyk has got to do his VADA drug testing. So the question is, Anthony Joshua's not going to show up. We're going to go recap everything. We got to go look back at that bizarre rant of uh, Anthony Joshua. You know, not a good look, bro. Especially in, in a nation where they paid you so much money. You know, I, I put it this way. I like when Joshua do asks domu, chlopce, do chate. Jesus. I like when um, Anthony Joshua be like he, he's himself. Because sometimes he come off a little like fake company man-ish. But, and I understand what people are going to say. They're saying... It's four o'clock in the morning over there. Why is Eagles claiming so pissed? Like, bro, let people do their media obligations. Like, that ain't cool. I understand he's like a former manager of the year multiple times, but he knows how the business is. Like, you just want a big ass fight. You got to talk to the media, you know? But, you know, I'm wondering, let's see if they clear the room. Because, no, for, for one, Eddie Hearn is going to, at least Eddie Hearn is going to show up. I do know that part. Eddie Hearn is going to hold court. Whether Joshua shows up with him, because the last time for the first fight, Joshua showed up like really late and I didn't think he was going to show up, but he did. So in the meantime, while we're hopefully waiting for Anthony Joshua, and let me tell you, I got a lot of shit. Like I'm watching boxing. Showtime's right here. ESPN's right here, UFC's right here, so it's it's. I'm, I'm trying to keep up. Brandon Lee is in the ring right now. Also, I'm going to be doing my uh, podcast recap tomorrow. I was going to wait till Monday, but I'm going to find some time tomorrow to get it out as soon as I can. And it's an edited podcast. You know, I love doing podcasts. Nice, clean um, uh, format. Also, thank you for who joined us on the live stream earlier we've crossed a hundred thousand views for that uh commentary stream you don't see it yet but this is youtube real time uh there's radio raheem he owes me um him and dave Chappelle owe me 150 dollars. i did a podcast with them back in 2018 i was fresh out of a coma too and they made me sign an agreement but they didn't pay me so i still got the tape i still got the podcast Oh, what's up, Mikey? No, that's Mikey, not Jay. Mikey runs the website. He does all the rankings and everything. So, okay, so since this is still live, I'm guessing Joshua is going to be showing up. But we're going to leave this on. We're going to leave this up. But let's go look back at Joshua. Let's go watch some clips. Um, Let's go check out that rant. By the way... By the way, um, I'm so glad they didn't rob Usyk. It seemed like they wanted to. How did you have the fight? You know, for me, eight rounds to four, if we're being honest, nine rounds to three. You know, but one thing you can say is, here, let me turn this down. One thing you can say is Joshua, put it this way. One thing about Joshua is you do see improvements when he has to make improvements. It's just that he just can't beat Usyk. He fought a way better fight than he did the first fight. He just can't beat Usyk. That's it. Um, 
Usyk is now 20 and 0 with let's go let's leave one of these up yeah let's leave that up there Usyk is now 20 and 0 with 13 KOs the 35 year old South Paul six foot three Ukrainian I met him in Philadelphia of all places I was um as media I had covered um Archibald Biev versus uh, Alexander Volzdik that was in Philly. And uh, he was there because um, um, supporting Volzik, him and Loma. It was a top ring fight. But yeah, um, I'm six foot three, and he's a legit, like, he's a legit six foot three. And this was when he was still at cruiserweight, I believe. And I was looking like, yo, like, this was when people were wondering if he was too small for heavyweight. Well, now look, he's shown us that he's better at heavyweight. I mean, he's, he, he's a four, he's a four heavyweight now. He weighed in at 221 pounds. The first fight and the second fight, a lot of people thought he was going to come in bigger, but he didn't. He's the same, same weight. Joshua, however, came in. Okay, when Joshua fought Luis Ortiz, here, let's go look at it. Not Luis Ortiz, Andy Ruiz. By the way, Luis Ortiz and Andy Ruiz are fighting on a Sunday, September the 4th. Um, once again, we stream during all major fights. You know, I don't stream during the whole event because it'd be a lot of dead time. And basically, then I would have to edit it out. And, you know, I'm real particular about um, uh, making sure my content fits in like a certain time frame, but nonetheless, we're going to be streaming during um, Andrew Ruiz versus Luis Ortiz, which is in two weeks. That's going to be on PBC on Fox pay per view. We're going to also be streaming during Deontay Wilder, Robert Hellenius. That's going to be on um, also on Fox pay per view October the fifteenth. Uh, another significant heavyweight fight coming up from the UK is going to be Joe Joyce taking on. Um, um, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Joseph Parker, BT Sport Boxing Box Office, September the 24th. So the heavyweight division is 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 back. Also, Wilder made some comments, but let's go look around. Here's uh, Anthony Joshua, by the way, for those who don't know. Now 24 and three, been stopped once by Andy Ruiz. 32 years old. The first fight, he weighed in at 240. Second fight, 244 and a half. Do you think that, like, even though he looked a little leaner, he looked leaner at, you know, but 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 he still came in weighing more. Do you think he should have came in lighter? I mean, put it this way, he did slow down later on in the fight, and especially those last couple of rounds where he just started, like, really lunging, um, um, like lunging nope i'm six foot three people always think they think that i'm short or small because until they meet me if they've ever met me and they'll be like damn bro because you're always sitting down but no like you know like the chicks dig it i'm um currently six foot three six foot two and a half okay um 271 pounds on may the second i weighed in at 298 so i'm on my weight loss journey for those who've been watching me i can tell myself just by looking at my face so um, I didn't go to the gym today. It was my uh, cheat day, but I'm doing about six miles a day. I'm not going to tell you my weight loss journey, but I'm trying to get back down to my ideal weight of um, 230. 